All right, in the first video here, we're going to talk about data. Um, data in statistics is basically when you go and collect some information. And um, when you go and collect information, when you go and collect data, there's two types of data you can collect. You can collect what we call categorical data, or you could collect what we call quantitative data. And categorical data, it's um, basically the answer to the question. What you're collecting is words, for the most part, and quantitative is numbers. But there are some subtle differences we've got to talk about here. First off, quantitative usually has to have a unit attached to it. So when you go and collect quantitative data, you're talking about weight, maybe in pounds, or you're talking about um, some type of measurement in um, length, like inches, or centimeters, or meters, or miles. Um, Again, there's usually a unit attached to it. When you're talking about categorical data, you're saying, hey, what's your favorite ice cream? I'm going to look at 100 people and ask them their favorite ice cream. And you can get um, flavors. So obviously, the answer to that question would be words. There's no units attached to it. Same thing with gender. You know, what's your gender, male or female? That's going to be a category. It's going to put you into a category. Um, you could also look at eye color. So when you do eye color, you're talking about blue or brown or green. So that makes you into a category. So we've got a categorical data and quantitative data. Quantitative usually has units attached to it and are numbers. And categorical are words. Got to be careful though, because sometimes you'll see um, with gender, they'll say give a one if you're a male or a zero if you are female. Um, if we do that, that doesn't necessarily mean it turns into quantitative data because they're numbers. It's still going to be categorical data. Same thing with the zip code. Um, zip code is actually categorical data. Even though the number for Twinsburg, for example, is 44087, it's a number that basically puts you into a category of where you live. So you've got to be careful. And again, with the zip code, there is no units. That's another way to remember that a zip code would be categorical data versus um, quantitative data. Now, when we when we collect data, we want to you know learn some information about something. So we collect what we call variables, and variables in statistics are very different than variables in algebra. In algebra, variables like x, it's a value that we don't know yet. Um, we have to understand that in statistics, a variable is an attribute or characteristic of an individual or object whose value varies from case to case. So, for example, uh, a categorical variable could be what's your favorite ice cream color, or I'm sorry, your ice cream flavor. Um, some people might say vanilla, some people might say chocolate, some people might say strawberry, banana, peanut butter, Rocky Road, whatever, all different kinds of you know, answers to that question. So the variable is what's your favorite ice cream um, flavor. That's what we're looking for. And again, that would be categorical. Another variable could be simply what is your age? Um, 13 years, 16 years old, 17 years old, 31 years old, 40 years old. Again, that's quantitative variable. And the question is that what we're trying to find out about you, the characteristic is your age. So remember, a variable is um, an attribute or a characteristic that we're looking for in either an object or a person. Remember, we don't, we don't always collect data from people. We collect data from objects like rocks or water or, I mean, anything, I guess, uh, animals, whatever. Um, so it's important that we understand that. The next thing we'll talk about real quick, and we're just about done here, is what a statistic is. A, stu a statistic write down that word. Obviously, this class is called statistics. It might be kind of important. A statistic is a numerical summary of data. So don't get a statistic confused with data. It's a numerical summary of data. Um, for example, the average. Okay, the average of a set of data. So you got a whole bunch of data, right? A whole bunch of different ages, all the different ages of everyone in this class. We could average it out and get a, you know, uh, the average age is 16.23 years. So a statistic is actually numerical summary of data. So keep that in mind. A lot of people kind of think of statistics and data are the same thing. They're very different. So statistics, in, uh, again, are that uh, numerical summary of data. 
So the other, the last thing I want to talk about real quick is, you know, data in statistics needs to come alive for you. It needs to apply to the real world. It needs to mean something. So oftentimes when we're looking at data, when we're looking at variables, again, characteristics or attributes, we want to know who, what, where, when, why, and how. And when we analyze data, we want to talk about who are we talking about? Who are we collecting the data from? What are we going to find? You know, the what basically is the variables. What are we going to ask them? Are we interested in their age, their eye color, their height, their weight, uh, their hair color, their favorite ice cream, whatever, their shoe size? Um, where? Where are we doing this at? We're doing this in Twinsburg. We're doing this in the United States. We're doing this in Europe because that's important. When? Obviously, the time frame ha you know, has a lot to do with it. Is this something that was collected back in the 1960s that wouldn't apply today? Or is this something that we're collecting modern day, you know, right now in the 2000s? Um, why are we going to collect this data? What are we going to learn from this data? What are we trying to learn? We're trying to learn the average age so that we know... Um, that if we're going to an advertisement firm, then we want to direct our advertisements to people of that age, but we have to analyze our audience first. Um, how are you going to collect the data? That's what the how is. How are you going to collect data? Are you going to ask people through mailing, uh, calling, um, survey people at the grocery store, survey people at the mall? How are you going to collect your data? And that's the... Um, the house. So make sure all these kind of questions get answered when you start analyzing data. So do a quick recap here. There's two different types of data that we collect. We've got categorical, quantitative. Quantitative's got to have units, typically numbers, categorical, typically words, but be careful like with zip code and, and stuff like that. A variable is any attribute or characteristics of an individual or an object that we analyze. A statistic is a numerical summary of data for example, the average. And anytime we analyze data, we want to look at the who, what, where, when, and why. Who are we looking at? What are we looking at? That's the variables. Where, when, why, and how did we collect that data?